vallásról beszélünk, mert hogy világvallásról van szó a nácizmus esetében, és bárhol a világon, akár Európában, Amerikában, Afrikában, Ausztráliában, bárhol mégis hasonló közös tulajdonságai vannak individu individuális szinten a nácisztikus személyeknek. If she understands right, it's economically equal, basically, this whole religion system that we call Nazism, uh, because it has exactly the same features in Australia, China, or wherever you go. And that's why it has a common skills and common problems as well. So it's equal globally. Yes, Nazism is possibly the only global phenomena um, with no local features. The only totally universal phenomena. That's why it's the most powerful religion ever. Mm -hmm. It is totally universalist religion. Um, for example, a Chinese narcissist would be easily diagnosable could be easily diagnosed by, for example, an American doctor. Because it's identical. It's uh, I have seen, of course, I've seen Iranian narcissists. I've treated people from by now well over 20 countries. No no difference whatsoever. Narcissus is narcissus and narcissus. So this is a religion which is monovalent, homogeneous, universalist, globalized, distributed, and networked. All the features of the internet and all the features of cancer. It's a cancerous, internet-like religion that is spreading. And it's a religion because it involves a worship of an omnipotent, omniscient, perfect being, the false self. That's why it's a religion, because there is an, a being, an entity, which is has all the attributes of God.